guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha Rizwondu if you are new here. Today we have a new New Makeup in Australia video. And I usually upload this on Monday, but I knew that Mecca was dropping the rest of their holiday today, Wednesday. So I held off so that we could do a proper, like, current video. And I've been thinking about it. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I've been thinking of maybe making this regularly a Wednesday video. I really struggle to get this up on Mondays. And because I have to film it on a Sunday, I often miss a lot of new arrivals because they come out on the Monday. So I think it might be smarter if I bring it out on the Wednesday because this is my day off and I can film, edit and upload all in one day. Um, anyway, I'm sure you guys are fine with that. I've just always done it on a Monday, but you know, life changes, circumstances change, and I am struggling to get it up on a Monday. So I think we'll see how we go, and maybe we'll do this fortnightly on a Wednesday. So we're gonna start as with the usual price line Sephora and then go into Mecca. Um, we'll go into Glam Radar, and then we'll have a look at Trend Mood to see if we can forecast what is gonna come to Australia. The, the weeks leading up to Christmas, it's going to be longer videos, I'm guessing, because we've just got a lot of holiday coming in. A lot of it I will skim over and not give full opinions, um, but and then I'll talk about the things that I want to talk about. We have Real Techniques have some little holiday sets. Uh, they're currently 20% off. Oh, also, if you like my makeup today, I did film it, and it will be coming up in a first impressions video. Um... I like how it turned out, it's very nice. Very me, very typical me. And I also did my hair. I'm reviewing the Aldi Hair Waver, like the Mermaid Hair Beach Wave product on TikTok, or I might even upload it to Instagram. So check that out if you like my hair too. I'm having a content day. And um, we've got a brush set, we've got a sponge in a case, and we have another sponge set. Uh, which is great stock up on some sponges hold on this is not makeup but Olay did a collab with friends is that not the most random collab you've ever heard of in your whole entire life that makes no sense and it's like a gift pack for Christmas random sift through all the holiday that is not makeup because there's like a lot of like your floral hand cream sets you know what I'm talking about a lot of kids, a lot of kids bubble bath kind of stuff. Models prefer makeup bags, millions of those. What's this? All Saints Concrete Rain Perfume. I've never heard of All Saints. Have you heard of All Saints? Let's have a look. It's an exclusive to Priceline. Invigorating Tranquil Musk, part of All Saints unisex fragrance collection. Hold the phone. <gasps> Oh my God, I just got a message from Kmart saying they want to share my photo of me and my daughter wearing matching Kmart dresses. Ooh, uh, I know if you get featured on Kmart, you get a lot of followers, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, anyway, uh, I got distracted. Uh, Unisex fragrance collection. Concrete rain has been inspired by the harsh exterior of concrete and the invigorating freshness of rain. Together they create a foundation of nuanced beauty. Top notes of silver rain and black lily. I actually really like lily. Combine to create an intensely fresh floral scent while the musky scents of cashmere and coconut woods contrast for sensual undertone. The seamless blend creates a balance between the components for a rejuvenating yet complex signature scent. Holy moly, this is $125 and now it's $100. I kind of want to blind buy this. I wonder where I can get this. You can't do that thing where you can check what store it's in. <gasps> $100. I like to buy small ones because I have so many perfumes. That reads so good. I, maybe I could ask for it for Christmas, actually. Christmas is around the corner. Oh, it's doing that thing where it repeats. Do you ever get the Priceline website? Um, it goes to load more and then it just starts the page again over and over. That's what I'm getting. Revolution has a conceal and pore perfecting putty primer. So like the e.l.f. putty primer or the uh, Tatcha silk canvas for $16. I love the e.l.f. putty primer. I use it quite frequently. I was doing that thing again where it's repeating. 
Very annoying. I don't really like the Priceline website that much. Okay, that's it, because we talked about the Victoria's Secret body mists already. All right, that's it from Priceline. Short and sweet. That's great, because we need all that time to talk about Mecca. Right, Sephora. Do we have a lot at Sephora? I'm going to glance through. Guerlain has uh, has a new foundation. Paro Gold Skin Foundation Matte for $139. Wow, 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 wow. It is a matte skin foundation with a distinctive and delicate, delicate floral scent. Usually they don't tell you if there's fragrance or not. Uh, makeup and skincare for an unmatched youthful glow, boasting an ultra, ultra sensory texture. Uh, formula is 85% rejuvenating skincare base for beautiful skin application after application keeping it hydrated supple and radiant but it oh there's a hint of pure 24 karat gold which is why they're charging so much white peony extract in formula okay so it's just super super bougie but it says it's matte but then it says it's glowy and hydrating oh one size has a visionary eye popper matte eyeshadow for 36 dollars in three shades look very like very neutral shades um let's talk about fragrance sets we have the Amani C miniature fragrance set for Christmas $117 cute and then we have the Amani my way mini eau de parfum fragrance set for Christmas what's the difference they all look the same for $175 I actually really like the scent of my way it's something that I would buy I almost bought it and I was like oh, so yummy so expensive I mean everything's expensive but Pulling out $100, $150 on one item, it hurts. It hurts. Um, Give Beauty has a new product, which is Gwen Stefani's brand. Uh, oh, it's called Give by Gwen Stefani. The C, I C in Sparkle Clean Multi Dimensional Glitter Eyeshadow for Christmas, limited edition in three shades. Uh, Natasha Denona. I don't know why she brings these out. I don't, I don't know if they're the best idea. Baby Gold Eyeshadow Palette for Christmas. $29, great price point, but that is $10 a shadow, which I know is Natasha. Like, hey, Natasha is my favorite formula. Like, I get it. But you can't do much with three, and I, I, I like a minimum four shades. I like four shades because you can kind of mix, but when it's three, you really can't do much. And, yeah, I'm just not interested in any of the baby palettes she's done. Um, oh, I saw this. We talked about it in Trend Mood. I think this is really pretty. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Glam To Go Mini Palette for Christmas, limited edition, $49. I think this is really pretty. I think it's a really good gift. And then Estee Lauder has a little quad, pure color envy eyeshadow palette. And there is one, two, three, four, five different shades. Benefit, all their little holiday sets have come out. There are a couple of the sets that I think are super cute. Um, I'll show you this one because it's got a little bit of everything. This is a Sincerely Yours Beauty Advent Calendar. Oh, sorry, the picture doesn't look like an advent calendar for $119. Estee Lauder has this cute set. I think this is real nice. $95 Captivating Glow Makeup Set. Huda Beauty Empowered Lip Trio Set. $39. It's a nice benefit one. The Beauty Mail set, $89. I think that's got some good products in there. Velour Lashes has Plant Fiber Lashes for $37. What does that even mean? Oh, recyclable packaging and it is vegan and cruelty free. We've got some Rare Beauty sets. Kind Words Mini Matte Lip Duo, $34. That's a good price point, Rare Beauty. And then they also have the Perfect Strokes Eye Essentials set for $49. Are you ready for Mecca? I don't know if I'm ready. I had a little peruse this morning, put everything in my cart, and yeah, I get discount, but it still comes to like over $500 because I want everything. Um, <laughs> where do I even start? I don't even know where to start. Okay, we're going to do fragrance and makeup only. Are you ready? Let's get to it. Ellis Brooklyn Booklet Discovery Set, 
$32, great price point. They're gonna sell out because that's a great gift. Fragrance pops off at holiday season. The Discovery sets always sell out within the first two weeks, so keep that in mind. I'm talking in-store, online, things go out, sold out even quicker online than they do in store. Um, fragrance always sells out. The skincare sets always sell out. The bum, the Sol de Janeiro sets always sell out. I'm talking within the first two weeks of it dropping. Um, makeup doesn't sell as much as skincare, body, and fragrance. In my opinion, it definitely sells, but I always find at the end, the stock that we have left is often um, makeup that weren't good value. Because we're looking for good value, aren't we? I know I am. Um, this is great, the Lalabo Discovery Set, $98. They're bigger than 10 mil size. Um, they are, oh, they're five mil. Oh yeah, so they're half of the 10 mil. So they're about this big. I actually have this set, um, these. Uh, I got them in gratis last year, which was so cool. It comes with another 13, Santal 33, and the Noir 29, which are my favorites. So. Um, that is a great little set. Okay, Mecca Max Christmas is pretty cute. I really like these two little eye quads for $12. Last year they did these and I didn't love them, but I love these colors. I think, I actually think I wanna get the nice and spice because it's got browns and reds and that shimmer looks really pretty too. So I am quite interested in that. We have like the mini gloss trios, which are pretty usual. Um, Lalabo also have the ca scented candle discovery set for 127, um, which is pretty cool. I really like this Mecca Max Give Em Cheek Face Palette for $30. Look at those blush colors. They're so pretty. Bronzer and two highlighters. The only issue I have is it's only one shade option, so it's for light to medium skin tones only. This brow kit's really cool because it actually comes with a setting spray, and the setting spray is really good. I have it. So this is $26 for the brow soap, the eye, what do you call that, spoolie, and the setting spray, that's a very good price. Look at this beautiful Diptyque holiday advent calendar that they bring out every year, $662. A little bit out of my price range, but so beautiful. They've gone with like celestial star theme, absolutely stunning. You can get a Diptyque holiday discovery set for $176. Morphe have collabed with Abby Roberts, that makeup TikToker. She was one of the first TikTokers that blew up. They've done a collab. These sets always sell really well every year, $46. Lip Tint Trio. This will be my third Christmas at Mecca, so I'm kind of getting an idea of what sells, and I'm letting you guys know what's gonna sell out so that you can get in if you were something that you're interested in but you thought you might wait certain things sell out i actually think i want to buy this i have the little testers this is a and other and other um wonderful fragrance brand oh they do really <sighs> what's the opposite of complex not simple but they do very straightforward scents so they've got oriental woody floral um they have floral, they're just straightforward. And, but they're beautiful, they're very sophisticated scents. And I have the little testers, I actually, they have this trio, travel trio for 10 mil. I think it's 10 mil for $75. And they're the three of my favorites. So I'm actually thinking of getting this because the 10 mil would be perfect. I wouldn't be afraid of um, it running out. The woody floral is my favorite. It's something that I wear out. It's such a beautiful, sophisticated scent. So I highly recommend that brand. Oh, Mecca have a mask library for $35. I think that'll sell well. Uh, we now have the ABH Rose Metals palette. I really thought about getting this because <laughs> I love it, but I just, I really don't need it. I don't need another eyeshadow palette, I don't. I think this is a great gift. The Floral Street Wonderland Bloom Candle and Travel Spray gift set. The bag is beautiful as well. I think it's a wonderful gift. Oh, this Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm Joy, $75. It's with the most famous shade Slip, which is what I have, and I love it. But they also have a limited edition shade in here, or a new shade that hasn't been released in the set as well. So that's beautiful. My bougie self wants these candles from Diptyque. It is a 
taper candle the little gold um, part at the bottom is sold separately but aren't they gorgeous if you had like three or four of them on your dinner table oh my god they're $46 each I they are limited edition I don't need this I don't have dinner parties I have small children but if I did have dinner parties I would probably buy this if I had an ex if I had a what's the word disposable income oh we've got all the NARS we've got all the NARS I'll show you just a couple I'm not going to show you all of them uh, kiss the stars matte lip duo for $59 Oh, this is not holiday, but this is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Lasting Lip Liner for $29. I don't know if they've reformulated or just repackaged. They took them off the shelves, have just brought them back. Their lip liners are fantastic. Now, I haven't tried this new. I don't know if it's a new formula, but the old ones were fantastic. It's in a pencil. They're truly long lasting and they've got beautiful neutral shades. So if you're wanting a good lip liner, I recommend those. I'm glad they've brought them back so I can recommend them now. I just want you to guys no, I'm not mentioning absolutely everything. I, I just, I can't. There's too much. Tom Ford Mini Decanter Trio for $296. I got Rose Prick from work as a gift, like the 30 mil size. So I have that. Lost Cherry is the one that I want to buy, but I don't love Bitter Peach. So two of the three. If I didn't own any, I would consider this, but it is still $300. I think it was 15 mil. I think that's what the size was, just above the 10 mil. Dolce Vita Lip Duo. Oh, that's cute, $38. That'll be a nice gift because that's a beautiful color. Oh, we got the Kylie Holiday that I'm just, I just don't, it looks so trashy. But she's going to sell to the younger community, which is her target market anyway, isn't it? Every year, Mecca Cosmetica brings out their brush set but it's the Mecca Cosmetica brand not the Mecca Max and I love these I have the um, biggest one it's a face brush I got it as a birthday gift before I worked at Mecca many years ago and it's still in such good condition I highly recommend this set it only ever comes out at Christmas time but it comes out every year and it's really good $72 radio here we go Shantakai the lip from Shantakai. There are two shades, the shade I'm showing you and a beautiful berry color that I want. That is the Jaguar set. And then the Cougar set are two neutral shades. Oh, I really, I really, I'm really interested. I'm really interested. <laughs> oh God, their lip cheeks are just to die for. Oh, what's happening to my hair? Oh, I want this. My favorite Mason Francis Curtijan perfume, and that is the same brand that does Baccarat Rouge 540. My favorite is Oud Satin Mood. They have a travel set. It's $373, mind you. Travel set with five little travel size, and look at the travel, the actual travel component. Far out. I just... I hate holiday because it makes me want to buy everything and I cannot afford that. I actually have them in bottles already, but I really want that travel case because that travel case fits all the small size of the MFK perfume. So if I had other ones, which I do, I have Univa um, Aqua Universally, that would fit in there. Maybe I should just buy the travel case actually. That's not a bad idea, Samantha. Oh, I would travel with Satin Mood because that is my nighttime date perfume. The NARS Starstruck Audacious Lipstick, the Christmas edition. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I want that too. This, I, my wish list is huge. I actually think I'm going to get this one because I really want the CC Serum, but it's in the shade that I don't want, but that's okay because I would still use it. I would still use it. Actually, be good for summertime. The, ter the terrific, the ter terrific, that's it. Glow Beauty Favorites gift box for $58. You get a mini of the powder, which I love. And then you also get the mini of the CC Brightening Serum. Here is the uh, Jaguar Eye Quartet, $113, but it's beautiful. Bare Minerals Mineralist Cozy Chalet Eyeshadow Palette, $59. Their little mini palettes were not great, so I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh, Lila B, which is um, 
not everywhere at Mecca. I think only selected stores have Lila B. They've just announced their closing shop. So we have two Christmas sets here. If you are interested in this brand, I would recommend trying them now because they are finito. The NARS Rising Star Cheek Palette, $89 stunning, but I bought the one last year, so I don't need another one. Oh, this is a nice set from Stiller. This is the Red Compassion Stay All Day Lipstick and Lip Liner set, $45. They've brought out new lip liners and they look really nice. And it is gonna match with the um, liquid lipstick, which is also really nice. Oh, okay, all right. Summer Friday's Sheer Skin Tint. $63, 10 shades. I've been interested in this. I want to try a sample though, because I've heard that it's got mixed reviews. Lightweight skin tint adds a touch of sheer color, providing a more even healthy appearance while infusing skin with hydration. It kind of reminds me like it's gonna be the Cossus Tinted Face Oil. It's very sheer, but glowy. But this actually has SPF. Oh, the one in America has SPF. Maybe the other one. Is this the one without SPF? scandalous and then we have hourglass ambient soft glow foundation it, all the light to medium shades are already sold out when i checked it at six o'clock this morning um so you'll have to go in store to try this <gasps> oh my god even some of the um inspired by the iconic ambient lighting collection this foundation is infused with blurring spheres to minimize the look of imperfections for skin that lasts for skin that looks smooth, even, and glowy. The transfer resistant formula is also resistant to humidity and sweat for flawless looking coverage that stays in place. This is the one that I really wanted to buy. That's why I didn't buy the Costas because I've been waiting to try this one. And I go to work tomorrow and I will get a sample and give it a good hot shot try. I'm very excited for that. And then the other one that I was really excited for, there's so many foundations constantly coming out. I'm really glad we finally got this one. This is the Ilia C Beyond Triple Serum SPF 40. That's pretty high. It's got nice uh, vitamin C, niacinamide and allatoin. I don't know what that is. First time in a stabilized water-free formula. Encapsulation technology delivers supercharged actives to skin at their full potency. Available in three translucent tones that disappear into skin with a sheer glowy finish with no white cast. I think I might get this. I will definitely get a sample first. So we've got tone one, extra light to light medium, tone two, medium to medium deep, and then tone three, deep to extra deep. So it's gonna be like basically no coverage, but I often wear just sunscreen and go out the door. This is the kind of product I would wear because I often mix in the De Bronzy drops and the glowish skin tint. So it's extra steps. This, is up my alley. Is it an actual sunscreen and then makeup? Oh, it's a three in one serum with vitamin C and SPF. Interesting. I'm very interested in that. Maybe the most interested in that. Summer Fridays has a new shade of their lip butter balm in Poppy. It looks absolutely beautiful, I must say. Like, I really like the shade. It's this beautiful summer coral orange color. And you can now get from Tom Ford the shade and illuminate cream duo that was viral a long time ago. I wanted to buy it for my wedding, but $140. I think it was like 120 when I got married. And that was a lot of money for me. I was not working, I was on paternity leave. But now you can get it at Mecca. We did it. Let's go over to Glam Raider. We have the Makeup Revolution collab with The Grinch. Here's the whole collection for $140. Um, so we've got, oh and it's all fuzzy. So we have, the big palette is not fuzzy, but the small palette, I'll show you. It's so cute. <laughs> mean one palette, $22. The big massive one that you see in the original picture is $32. They've got a highlighter for $16. And then there's like lip sets as well. Look at that highlighter, cool packaging. The Luna Beauty Advent Calendar, which is a full palette and you take a shade out each day and put it in the palette. Um, is $85, but it's sold out. And then the full um, collection with Shrek is sold out, but you can buy them still individually. 310 for the full collection, but the individuals are all available other than the Gingy Highlighter, the Gingerbread Highlighter, the um, Donkey Eyeshadow Palette, the Dragon Lipstick, 
and the brush set is sold out. Oh, there's a few things sold out. The magic mirror is sold out. You can now get mermaid hair at Glam Raider 2, which is pretty cool. And that is that. Okay, KVD. They have their holiday collection has been revealed. Moon Garden is the collection. This is really pretty. It's not very holiday, but I think it's still very pretty. Colourpop have the Troublemaker collection. It's a little bit rocky, a little bit alternative. <laughs> Nothing in there inspires me. Um, Mario Lip Lift Kit. So it is a mini duo including a lipstick and a lip pencil with a soft matte finish. There we go. The Odin's Eye Christmas collection is insane. They absolutely killed it. I was tempted to buy it, but I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes, but I really, I, honestly, I liked both of them. I couldn't tell you which one I would have bought. On it, I probably would have bought both if I had the money or the space. I think they're so beautiful. I think it even sold out. I think they're gonna have to do a second run. Yeah, they really killed it. Really, really did well. Um, ColourPop have a new Star Wars eyeshadow palette. Uh, it is the CPO, C3PO. Is that his name? Oh, I'm so dumb. Nine pans, 16 American dollars. ColourPop have another collection. Uh, not a box of chocolates collection. Oh, this is nice. Cause you know I love my browns. I'm a neutral brown gal. Don't need that, but I like I like the vibe that they're doing. I, I like what they're putting down. She Glam is doing a Willy Wonka collection. But I don't really talk about Sheen or She Glam. So if you like that, there it is. Check it out. That is everything. I did it guys. We did it. We did it. You watched all of this and I I'm talking too much. I need to have a break before I get back into TikTok. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.